Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, July 12, 2023. 53 degrees at 6.29 a.m. And I am your host, Va Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I'm here with Brother Prince and Co-Star Samuel and Brother Sister Princess and Co-Star Elsie. And they are brother and sister. Look at those. Look at that sweet boy. How could you not love that little face or that one? They're all tuckered out. They had a dawn patrol this morning. And uh, here they are now. I think Mikey's still outside on dawn patrol, but I'm not positive. And I know Max and uh, Sullivan are, so we're going to go out and join them. We've had our coffee. We've said our prayers. We've read our morning readings. And... Oh boy, here we are, here we are, we're enjoying the scent of the linden tree, we've had some ducks flying over, city chickens, sky rats, Sully's not trying to get comfortable here, there's Mackie, there's that Mackie, oh boy, and Sully is kneading the blanket and clawing my leg, yeah, aren't you Sully, you good boy, you're a good boy. Oh, yeah. It's been about two years since Sully entered our lives. Um, he was in quite a sad state when he did that. He weighed about nine and a half pounds, and his ears were infected, and he had all kinds of battle scars. And it was quite a process to get him healthy and get him into his first vet's appointment, get him neutered and get all his shots, but... Oh boy, what an addition to the family he's been. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. So anyway, we have Maggie over there. We uh, had a pretty good day yesterday. We might as well do a recap of that. There goes some city chickens. Um, oh, look, at what do we got feeding out there? It looks like some grackles. Um... After coffee and wake-up time, I hopped on the Kona, and I had planned on riding the back roads, um, like my Anderson Road loop. But it started sprinkling, and I thought, you know, this gravel roads are going to turn into a mud bog, and that means me getting all filthy and the bike getting all filthy. And so I... Uh, snuck down one road that took me back to the highway and as I was doing that it started raining harder and this road came out by the vet's office Alpena Veterinary Services so I ducked in there and waited out the hard rain it only lasted about maybe 15 minutes and then I pedaled up the highway to US 23 I pedaled up the highway and uh, went out to my niece's place. I just ended up there and she was just getting ready to leave to head back to Ohio. So I got to see her before she left and that was awesome. And she made it home safely and texted me to let me know. And I really appreciated that, knowing she's back to where she, she lives safely. And um, it was nice while she was here. We had some great visits and conversations and I got to meet her kitties. Only one of them came out to see me, but hers are just like mine. They're, they have to get to know people. Mine, if you came over here, the only one you'd get to see probably is Bobby Sullivan. Well, you might be able to see the rest of them, but they'll take off like rockets and hide. So anyway, after that, I had big ideas about going for another bike ride, but I did not. I got home and... Did I go get some groceries? I don't think I did. I didn't do a whole lot other than hang out with the cats. The wind had picked up and I spent a lot of time online looking up things yeah, and hanging with the cats. Did we do any domestics around here? I don't think so. I ended up making an awesome homemade pizza in the afternoon for dinner. It consisted of my homemade crust, some really good sauce, and I put jalapeno, onion, and fresh sliced mushrooms on it with a five blend cheese, five cheese Italian blend, I should say. 
And I didn't delude myself from the get-go. I knew I would eat the whole thing, which I did, but it was good. It was good. Read to the cats. Uh, we hung out at camp. And, oh, what movie did we watch last night? I can't remember. That doesn't surprise me, though. My brain is soft. Did a crossword puzzle, too. Um... But what movie did we watch, honeys? We fell asleep watching it, whatever it was. And we all slept out at camp. The crossword puzzle I looked at, uh, worked on had a lot of, uh, the long clues were names of Rolling Stones songs, which I'm a big fan of theirs. Although personally, after Charlie Watts died, I think they should have pulled the plug on that band. Oh, look it, there's Poppy. Puppy's coming to see us. Come on, Tammy. Come on, honey. He's surveying his realm, and he's going to come and join us, I hope. Come on, Sam. Look at How could you not love that face? How could you not love that little face? Look at a Sammy stretch. A f we got to see a Sammy stretch. That's rare. That is rare to capture that. Poppy. You going to lay down with Max and torture him? Anyway... It doesn't matter. We're going to take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that. Things could get ugly around here. Sully's got an intense look on his face, and that is why we have a visitor. And I think he's realizing it's probably best for him to head somewhere else, too. Looks like a pretty healthy little guy. Hope he belongs to somebody and isn't a stray, because usually what happens to the strays around here, they end up living here. And we're still getting used to having Sully here. You're all right, Bubby. Good boy. Yeah. Look at that intense gaze. He's like, this is my house. That's the way the rest of them used to look at you, Bubby. No, no. You got to stay here. No biting and no fighting. Or I'm going to put you in the house. You got to forget about him. You got to forget about him, Sully. Come on. We got to pause. So anyway, we're back again, probably for our closing segment. I'm not sure. We're... We've regrouped and we're here at camp with Els and Max and Samuel. Sully's still outside. Look at Mackie. Look at Mackie. We gotta give Sam his pill. I'm not sure if Max is gonna need any pain medication today. I've been trying to give it to him like every three days. He initially was on it daily and then it went to every other day. And between the glucosamine and the small dose of pain meds that he's getting, his arthritis is doing pretty good. He doesn't uh, visibly react and get uh, angry when we pet where his arthritis was hurting him before. Look at the princess. So anyway, moving on. Poppy, what are you doing, Poppy? Look at that little boy. What a sweet, good boy. Um... Noted in the obituaries, someone I used to work with passed away, Beverly Wyshewski. We both worked in the salad department at Holiday Inn many years ago, and we didn't always get along. Let's face it, I'm not going to joke about that or feed any bullshit about that, but I liked Bev. I really did, and I know after I left that place, after I left that job, I ran into her one time, and I said, Bev, I miss not getting along with you. And she laughed, and I was really surprised. I didn't realize that she, well, she was 87, and the last time I saw her, you know, and the last several times I saw her, I think it was like at Save-A-Lot, uh, you know, she seemed to be pretty fit and healthy for her age. So anyway, God welcome her back, and uh, what else did I want to comment on? I've been watching a guy named Joey B. Toons on YouTube for lots of laughs, his shorts, social commentary about things going on. And then another thing that caught my eye yesterday was, according to the real left-leaning people in this country, or whoever posted it, it's, uh, you're a Nazi now if you want to have, uh, work out and have physical fitness, you know? They, uh, posted a something on social media with a flexing arm uh, uh, superimposed over marching brown shirts, I think it was. And I just, it's like, come on, really? You know, 
and this body positivity's got something to do with that, you know. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. A lard ass is a lard ass. I'm sorry. It's not healthy to be 300 pounds, you know. And these people do anything they can to justify who and what they are and tear down whoever is trying to live a healthy, productive lifestyle. No matter what you do, it's not going to be right and it's not going to be enough for these social justice warriors. The virtue signalers, and that's not to say that I don't believe in social justice, I do, but right is right and wrong is wrong, and molly coddling criminals and, you know, people that are unhealthily obese is not doing anybody a favor, especially the honest people in society. So anyway, that's my two cents for this morning. Mackie's doing a little grooming. Sammy's getting a drinking. Still no sign of Mikey. He may be inside. He may be outside. Bobby Sullivan, we know, is still outside. Where, we don't know. But There he is. Bobby. Bobby. So that's all we got for this fine, wonderful Wednesday. It's Sushi Wednesday at Meyer. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, piss off, happy, wonderful Wednesday, and thanks for not tuning in. What do you think about that, hey, Mackie?